Hi, George here. I've recently had a few questions about the difference between my regular training courses and my Photoshop Elements Photo Coach program. We'll take a look at those right now. First off, whether you're a small business or you have a side hustle or just a hobbyist, Photoshop Elements is a great program for doing photo editing and even more creative projects. I have two ways of learning how to use Photoshop Elements. The first one is if you are a brand new user to Photoshop Elements, for those people, I have created my Photoshop Elements video course, and that's the way to go. If you've already been using Photoshop Elements for a while, you have a good handle on that, but you'd like to have a good reference tool to work along with and be able to answer those questions as they come up when you're working with the program, that's why I have the Photo Coach. In real general terms, the video course is for people who are brand new, and the Photo Coach is for people who want to have nice step-by-step -step instructions to help as they continue learning how to use the program. Let's take a look at these two different programs and see what the differences are. I'll start off with the regular video course. And this right here, I'm logged in right now to the 2025 course. This is just the first page you get into when you log in. And since we're right here, one question I do get asked a lot is how to change the password. And that's really easy. It's on the right-hand side over here at the very bottom where it says profile and update profile. That's where you can change your password. The stuff here in the middle, this is just real basic. Read that once and you're fine. And then all of your modules, all your video modules over here on the right-hand side. Each one of these is basically a chapter with several videos in that chapter. At the very top, there are project files. There are quite a few project files that go along with the different chapters of the course. Let's take a fast look at the project files. Notice also here that all the pages in here, all the chapters have the same modules menu on the right-hand side, so you'll never get lost. Just go over here to the modules to jump around anywhere you want to. Left-hand side, I have a printable keyboard shortcut list right here. A list of all of these videos over here and how long they run is right here. And then the images that are used in the training. A lot of the images that I use are available online for free. And this is a list of the links for those videos. Anything for the projects, for the finished images in the projects, you'll find all that stuff down here in these zip files. And they're named to match what the project is about. They're pretty easy to understand. Okay, let's take a look at one of our modules. I'll look at module one right here. Click into this. And again, this is video training. So it begins with a video right here. On the right-hand side, these are all the different videos that are inside of this particular module. To go to a different video, just click on that video link. It will then take you into that video. So very easy to navigate. When you click on one of these, the video will automatically start. I have the sound muted right now for this video, but these do have sound. Across the bottom, you have a volume control over here, pause and play button right here. You can also pause just by clicking on the video. Click it again, do play again. If we slide our control right through here, here's your video length. Right over here, you can change the resolution if you want to. The auto is going to be sitting it at 1080p. All the videos are recorded at 1080p. You also can speed up or slow down the video if you want to. Sometimes this can help if you're having a bit of problem working through the concept. Go ahead and just slow it down a little bit. It may sound a little slower, but maybe a bit easier to understand for you. This button right here takes you on a full screen. Now, one thing I want to point out about this button. Notice here we have the video in the center here. And on the right-hand side, we have the other videos in the module. And we have our menu right-hand side. I click on this full screen button. It goes full screen. And we're not in the Photoshop program. This is actually in the video. So here's the video play across the bottom. Here's your resolution and speed over here. I click on play. The controls should disappear pretty soon. They go away after a few seconds. They're out of the way. And it then plays the video. Notice, though, that we don't have the video choices over here on the right-hand side. So you're not seeing those choices. We don't have the menu any longer. To get back to that, either hit the F11 key or the Escape key, and it takes you out of that full screen mode. And you then have access to the other modules right here and access to the menu. So just keep that in mind if you're playing at full screen, which is perfectly fine. I've designed these to be played full screen. But if you're playing full screen, Make sure you go out of full screen to get your menu back and also to get the videos over here in the module back again. And then everything else in here just runs exactly the same. Just click on the next module. Here's module eight. And it's laid out exactly the same as the previous modules. So a little reminder right down here about how to use the full screen button right there. Okay, let's go over and take a look at the HDG Photo Coach program. And that's right over here. This is the first page you log into on the HDG Photo Coach. You can take a look at the welcome page if you want to. That's what we're on right now. It's a little mention here about step-by-step -step guides. For the more complex videos on YouTube, I am putting in step-by-step -step guides here into the photo coach for those videos. 
this just tells you that I have moved those into the photo coach. So photo coach right here, this is the actual main part of the program. Click on photo coach. We'll go into the photo coach section here. And here we go. At the top, we have a search button. Just click in here, begin typing your search. And it will then show you all the options that match your search. Or we have the main categories in here. And choose the videos in the main categories. Now, and these are all laid out by articles. So I have 120 articles in the filters section, 64 articles up here in the menus section. Plugin section has 41 articles, 36 articles in project guides. So as you can see, there's a lot of information in here. The menu over here on the right hand side, this is just a different way of looking at the stuff over in here. Some people prefer using menus and some people prefer these little boxes over there. I just put them both onto the page. And in here, if you click on this, you're going to see everything that's in that section. For the guided edit section, that's all 64 articles will be listed right down through here. So again, a lot of information in here. And I try covering everything in the program. Let's take a look at one of these. I'll just go up here to the top one. Colorize photo guided edit. Here we go. And here's what these look like. On some of these, I'm adding in some video. If I have a quick video about this over on my YouTube channel, most of them are just going to be text, which is just right down through here. And it's step by step. So open Photoshop elements, select the photo for colorization, choose guided edit mode. So it walks you step by step through every single thing that you need to do when you're working with this program. Let's look at something else in here. Let's come down and take a look at the project guides. This is a special section. This is where I'm putting special step-by-step -step pages for my YouTube videos. For instance, here is how to change the background tutorial right here. The title in here matches the title of the YouTube video, so they're pretty easy to match that way. And in here, if there are any downloads included, I'll have my downloads right there, download links. And again, step-by-step -step instructions on how to do the project and the YouTube video link is right down here. So as you can see, very easy to use. The main difference is that you'll find here between the photo coach and my regular video course is that the video course is video based. I actually show you everything in videos, but it's again designed for beginners. So it's not as in depth as the photo coach is. And the way I think about this, my concept on this is that when you first begin using Photoshop elements, you take the video training course and that gives you your groundwork on how to use a program and you have a good understanding of where everything is and how it works. Then watch my YouTube videos for a practice on using the program. And then if you want to get into depth on anything, that's when you come over here to the photo coach. The main reason that I designed this program was that I become very unhappy with the help system that Adobe has. It used to be great. I used to love their help system, but I haven't liked their system for 15 or more years. It really has gone downhill. It's very hard to find anything and the explanations aren't really that great. So that's why I've designed this whole program here. So you have a great reference tool for how to use the Elements program. So there you go. That's the difference between my video course and my photo coach down here for Photoshop Elements. Again, if you're brand new to Photoshop Elements, then you want to use the video course. Once you've done that, if you want more training, then go for the photo coach. Or if you've been using Elements for a long time, but you want to have more training to go beyond the level that you're at, again, that's where the photo coach comes in. And you can find all of these right here at howtogurus.com. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button for this video. If you haven't subscribed to my videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time.